Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions to talk to you about the Vignette Snapshot and Zone Controller. As you've seen in other videos, it is a system of modular inserts that you can snap together to make wall stations that are made up of buttons or sliders from one gang to six gangs wide. This one in my hand uses an Ethernet PoE connection so it can snapshot four universes of E1.31 streaming ACN and play it back on, you know, Pathport gateways on your network. But there's also a version that is using a six wire topography star configuration for multi-drop and uh, that is called Vignette 485. And to demonstrate that we have this new demo kit, which is just everything you need in a box. And it's just a great way to show how easy this system is to, uh, to configure. So let's just open it up and see what we got here. Now, it says right on the box, out of the box operation, what you need to do is plug it in. So grab the power cord from the back, plug that in, and lights on the gateway start to uh, blink. And what it is, is it's set up right now with two wall stations. We'll call this one the north one, and we can call this one the south one. And they are connected on the buses, bus number one and bus number two. Now they could start on the first bus and daisy chain off to them. But the purpose of showing you multiple buses is just because you have one, two, three, four. And on the entire network, you can have up to 64 inserts. So it can become quite a large system. So out of the box, it's just sitting there and it's saying that uh, there's no DMX input on my DMX in, because I haven't plugged anything yet. And the DMX out is also inactive. That's why we have the flashing LEDs. Um, so to demonstrate this, we need some lights. And I happen to have here a whole bunch of lights. And I'll plug them in to my DMX out. There we go. So this is a string of 170 RGB LEDs. So that's almost a full universe of uh, control. And then to make it interesting, what we need is a lighting console. So I have here a Cognito lighting console with the DMX cable. And what I'm going to do is plug that into the DMX in. And to demonstrate that it is a whole bunch of lights, what I've done here is uh, just bringing up a slider. We actually have here a, a rainbow, a static rainbow. It's not doing anything interesting. This one here is dynamic. So you can actually see things rolling around. Um, but there's also on here a blue look which uh, might be very useful in a restaurant or cove lighting, something like that. Um, we have an amber look for uh, when you want some mood. And I have here a special look, odd even, odd even. It's called the candy cane look. So this candy cane look may be used on special events like Christmas. So we now have the DMX coming into the system, which goes into this top port and goes out and through to our lights. What we want to do is snapshot those onto our snapshots one, two, three, and maybe four. So right on the uh, front of the unit, there is a button called record enable. And if I press that button, you get a red LED, which means the buttons are now able for me to record them. So let's first bring up our blue look. And on snapshot number one, what I'm going to do is press and hold to record. And as soon as I get the OK, it gives me a green indicating that it has recorded that into snapshot one. So now on the lighting console, I'm going to bring up the amber look and we will take that and record it to snapshot number two. And we get the green LEDs. And then let's bring up the candy cane look. And because this is a network with the north and the south, I can do the same thing from here. So I will now press and hold on this station. 
and I get the green LED saying that I've recorded that. So now let's pretend this is a theatrical console. And what I'm going to do now is bring up this big rainbow look because that's quite theatrical and uh, demonstrate what happens when we unplug the DMX. So after about five seconds, what it's going to do is it's actually going to crossfade and dim out the lights. And now we have a flashing green on the output saying that there is no longer an active output. Now, if I want, I can press one of the buttons to bring up my preset, my snapshot, the blue snapshot. And I can then crossfade to the amber. Now, I'll just demonstrate later how you can change those crossfade times when we get into Passcape. And then we can, of course, go into that candy cane look on our third preset. And I can turn it off on the south wall just by pressing it like that, and it will fade, and the lights will fade out. Now, if I take the theatrical console and plug it back in again, it will actually fade up in a nice time rather than snapping to a new level which is always nice. And if I had, let's say, the candy cane preset active, when I, the lighting console is actually winning. We've set it up so that the lighting console, the theatrical console, has a higher priority than the vignette snapshot system. So if I unplug the lighting console at this point, it takes about five seconds just to make sure that you don't have a broken cable or something like that. And then what it will do is it will subtly crossfade from that uh, one look you had to the snapshot that is active. So in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you can lock things out when you have the theatrical console plugged in. And then we will move on to zone control. So join me next time. It's Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions.